Hey guys, it's me again. I've done a little update to my BIOS last night. Changed it from the version of F12 to the new, as you can see here, the 8GB <coughs> UDFI dual BIOS. It looks pretty badass. Well, not badass, but different from the usual blue screen and whatever. And I've had a little bit of trouble doing it last night, so I thought I'd, after I've done it, I thought maybe I could make a little, I don't know, like a guide or something to help you do it too, if you want to do it. Um, well, first I should say that this is my motherboard, the Z7, the Z68X UD3HB3. And just one second, guys. Okay, I'm back guys, sorry about that. I had the USB drive inside and for some reason it wanted to boot out a bit. To... Well, never mind, forget it. Um, so, what to do? If you want to update your BIOS to a UDF file, you go to the Google, sorry, the Gigabyte website. Choose your motherboard. I just walk you through what I did. Socket 1155. Z68 and choose whatever by whatever motherboard you have. I have this one, so I'm clicking it. Downloads BIOS and here it is the latest BIOS. You can download it. It doesn't really matter which server you download it from. After you download it, it comes. Uh, well, I'm probably deleted it already, so. I have to download it again and okay and let's see and that's it next extract it over here as you can see there are three files I'll move it move these guys over to the Sorry guys, it's a bit hard to do it with one hand, so you'll excuse me, oops, sorry about that, no, that's not what I want, I want to take all you three and move them over here, where I can play with them much easier, and now, as you can see, these are the three files, and now what you need to do, well, I what I did is I took my USB drive and made it into a MS-DOS bootable source it means you can format well not format, you have to format the USB drive and then you'll be able to start it off to like you just use it as a boot drive so what I did is I used this little cool software I just choose this one, the option, the USB drive, FAT32, the name, quick format, and MS DOS. What you need is the BIOS files, and I found them in this address. I'll put it in the description for you. You don't have to copy it. There it is. That's the link you can download the program. Down here you need to download it. And over here is the boot files. You just extract them and when the program asks you where do you want to use it from, you just you select these files. It takes a few minutes until you get to do it until it like completes the format and whatever then what you need to do is just to take these three files copy them over to your USB drive and then you'll be able to do whatever it is that you want to do in this case just to update your BIOS um, Okay, well in this case I don't have like much to show you, 
because I only because I already updated my BIOS so I'll just show you what to do when you restart it you have to put the USB drive of course inside your case and when you do it the it shows you like the black screen you press the delete in order to enter it oh no sorry not the delete you press the F12 sorry about that press F12 to show the uh, boot orders and for some reason logs straight into Windows well never mind you press F12 it shows you the priority you choose the USB HDD it shows you like a quick picture of the uh, Windows 98 files then it starts to update the BIOS once it's updating the BIOS it will tell you to uh, unplug your uh, machine and you just leave it off for like a few seconds just like totally erase the BIOS and once you plug it right back in turn it on again your machine will turn on regularly and after that it will start to it will enter the new BIOS as you saw <coughs> and after you can make all the changes you want to the BIOS and maybe if we're lucky we can see what the BIOS looks like again maybe if, I'm, if we're lucky um, so anything else um, oh yeah one thing um, after I finished playing with the BIOS and I had to go back into Windows um, for some reason all the drivers were like supposedly erased and stuff well I guess it doesn't want to get put into the BIOS so never mind um, I couldn't see like all the drivers and stuff but it took it for like I don't know five no, not even five minutes like three minutes to like to update all the drivers that I had after which it asked to reboot and it came back just as you see it um, if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask and comment below um, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time bye